As this exciting time of the year unfolds, we find ourselves embarking on a new adventure, setting our sights on one of the enchanting islands that's nestled in the Asia waters of the Caribbean Sea. This journey of discovery and diving awaits, and Cozumel stands as our chosen oasis of exploration. Upon arrival, the blend of cultural richness and coastal allure sets the stage for an unforgettable stay. As we prepare to head to the dive center, the Caribbean spirit lingers in the air, promising more moments of blissful repose and spirited enjoyment. The dive center's exterior welcomes us with vibrant dive flags fluttering in the tropical breeze. The dive center is a gem named Pro Dive International, conveniently located just a few yards from our cozy haven. Situated right at the heart of the resort, the Pro Dive International Dive Center makes getting ready for our underwater exploration super easy. It's just a short stroll from our rooms, so no need to carry heavy diving gear around. The Pro Dive International crew ingeniously utilizes boards as a visual aid to plan and brief us about the upcoming dive sites. Cozumel is an island located in the Caribbean Sea along the eastern side of the Yucatan Peninsula, about 51 miles south of Cancun and 12 miles from the mainland. The island is about 30 miles long and 9.9 .9 miles wide, with a total area of around 185 square miles. It is Mexico's largest Caribbean island and the largest permanently inhabited island. Cozumel is home to the Western Hemisphere's largest reef system, stretching for approximately 30 miles along the western coast of Cozumel. The reef system is part of the second largest barrier reef in the world, second only to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Its strategic location within the warm, nutrient-rich waters of the Caribbean provides an ideal environment for the growth and sustenance of a remarkable variety of marine life. The topography of the island is mostly flat, with its highest point being 45 feet above sea level. Jacques Cousteau first put Cozumel, Mexico on the map when filming a documentary about Palancar Reef in 1959. He declared it to be one of the best places to dive in the world. These beautiful coral reefs were declared a national park in 1996. The island's physiographic composition is that of porous coral rock and natural pristine white sand beaches. <laughs> Having a dive center this close isn't just about convenience. It adds a special touch to the whole diving experience. It turns gearing up into a prelude to the adventure that awaits beneath the waves. All the diving equipment needed is ready for us. Masks, fins, tanks, BCDs, you name it. Behind the dive center, our gear neatly arranged in numbered cases awaits. Each case has a room number. It's a seamless process. The staff at Pro Dive International takes care of the details, ensuring everything is set for our dives. We've got Karim, Andre, Edgar, Chris, Daniel, Sophie, Audrey, and... Standing by our prepared gear, we absorb every detail. Excitement building with each word from our experienced guides. The briefing creates a sense of anticipation and camaraderie among the group, fostering a shared enthusiasm for the upcoming dive.
It's time to hop on board for our first dive. The staff brings our tanks and gear on board. The Caribbean Sea is looking like a dream, all shades of blue and sparkling in the sunlight. Most of our boat rides are between 10 and 20 minutes from shore. The first set of our dives will be in the Palancar Reef. As we slip into the water to commence our dive, a magical spectacle unfolds beneath the surface. The rays refract and shimmer, casting an enchanting and ever-changing pattern on the ocean floor. The water itself seems to come alive, with the vibrant energy of the sunlight filtering through. As we reach the sandy seabed, a small stingray captures our attention, diligently scavenging for its next meal. A jackfish closely tails the stingrays every move, sharing interest in the potential bounty that may be revealed as the stingray sifts through the sandy floor. As we navigate along the imposing wall, its sheer vertical drop creates a sense of awe and wonder. Approaching these larger-than-life coral formations feels like entering a submerged city where each crevice and corner teems with life. The diversity of shapes and sizes within the coral community is a testament to the resilience and beauty of these underwater ecosystems. These majestic coral structures rise from the ocean floor, reaching towards the sunlight filtering through the water above. As we venture closer, the sheer magnitude of the coral formations becomes apparent, creating an immersive experience for divers. What sets this reef apart is its reputation as a hidden gem, less known for its bustling fish life and more celebrated for its spectacular coral formations, canyons, and mysterious tunnels. Our dive takes an exhilarating turn as we come across the magnificent swim-throughs that adorn this underwater wonderland. These natural passages, carved over time by the gentle currents and the ceaseless dance of the ocean, invite us to venture into their depths. As we glide through the swim-throughs, it's a sensory feast, a kaleidoscope of colors and textures surround us. The sunlight, filtering through the water, paints an ethereal glow on the coral walls, creating a mesmerizing play of light and shadow. The underwater city of coral unfolds beneath us, creating a labyrinth of colors, textures, and shapes. It's like stepping into an enchanted garden where the corals take center stage.
Approaching the final phase of our dive, the Palancar Reef subtly signals a change in scenery. The underwater landscape transforms as we encounter shallower formations, a departure from the towering canyons and intricate tunnels that characterized the earlier part of our adventure. Notably, the current, which seems to take a back seat during our captivating journey through tunnels and canyons, reasserts itself in this phase. The gentle push of the current becomes a companion as we navigate the shallower realms. A hundred feet of visibility makes the surface seem closer from down below. But as we watch the floating marker that the guide releases ascend, we get a sense of the distance expected to swim to end the dive. We ascend slowly, ready to emerge from this amazing dive. The safety stop becomes a peaceful intermission, a bridge between the wonders below and the return to the world above the waves, leaving us with memories of the mesmerizing underwater journey we just experienced. It's time to get back to dock to change tanks for our next dive. Laughter and animated discussions are exchanged on the boat as divers trade anecdotes about unexpected surprises and the breathtaking sights that left an indelible mark on their memories. Amidst the excitement of diving, there's a crucial yet often overlooked task undertaken by the staff members. A task that involves seamlessly ensuring every diver gets a fully functional, non-leaking tank filled with the precise gas they've requested. While it may seem like a routine part of the process, this behind-the-scenes operation is a finely tuned ballet that demands precision and expertise. These unsung heroes who handle our tanks are called 10K Roves. Behind the scenes, they play a pivotal role in transforming what could be a daunting task into a routine that ensures the safety and satisfaction of every diver who takes the plunge. With the tanks changed and the boat replenished, the call of the ocean beckons us back. We set out once more, leaving the dock behind, eager to delve into the mysteries and marvels of the underwater world. During the subsequent dives of the day, the captain takes us to another segment of the previous reef to continue exploring its wonders. When one comes to Cozumel for six to seven days of two-tank diving, one can literally do every dive on the Palancar Reef and not repeat the same dive. Palancar is broken into five different dive sites, most of which have a maximum depth of 100 feet or deeper. The best part of these dives lies somewhere between 70 and 40 feet. As a bonus, the top of the reef ranges from 30 feet to 20 feet. These five dive site locations span a distance of roughly three miles. It's said that one can do 20 dives on Palancar and not see the same reef twice. Going from south to north, the dive sites of Palancar include Punta Sur, Columbia, Palancar Bricks, Palancar Caves, Palancar Horseshoe. Typically conducted as a multi-level dive, 
The dives begin over a sandy bottom, descending to approximately 40 feet. As a group, we swim toward the wall, reaching a depth of about 80 feet or lower, with a maximum depth of 120 feet. While it may not teem with fish life as much as some other Cozumel dive sites, the Palancar Reef remains an exceptional dive. Anticipate encountering stunning tall coral pinnacles and spires that create the sensation of swimming through an underwater castle adorned in a kaleidoscope of colors. Moderate currents add excitement and challenge to this dive site, especially when navigating along the wall area. The dive community cannot insist enough about protecting the reef around here. When you dive a reef, respect and preserve the underwater environment by refraining from any direct contact with corals and marine life. The underwater corridors, formed by towering coral formations, beg us to navigate through this labyrinth of nature's own design. The sheer excitement of swimming through these enchanting passages is unparalleled. Each twist and turn brings a new discovery, a hidden nook teeming with life, or a vibrant burst of coral formations that seem to reach out in a welcoming embrace. The feeling of weightlessness adds to the thrill as we effortlessly glide through the underwater tunnels, becoming one with the aquatic environment. These swim-throughs are not just geological formations, they are living art, covered with soft corals, sea fans, and sponges that sway gently in the underwater currents. The dive becomes a journey through a natural art gallery. Water temperatures range from the mid-70s in the winter to mid-80s in the summer months. Late summer and fall is hurricane season in the Caribbean, but the odds of a storm are extremely low. This is also the low season. December to April is the high season and probably has the best diving conditions. During our dives, many divers did not even need a wetsuit, where others wore shorties or two millimeter suits.
Cozumel is considered the drift diving capital of the world. Thanks to the currents, the corals around the island have been healthier than other places in the Caribbean. The western shores of this Mexican island are washed by a steady stream of clear oceanic water that nurtures a colorful crop of corals and sponges. We dive in a current that can be strong or mild depending on the dive site or the weather on a given day. Far from being a cause for concern, the idea of diving in a current becomes an exciting prospect in Cozumel. Dive operators here employ a practice known as a live boat drift, making it one of the easiest and most enjoyable types of diving one can experience. This approach allows divers to effortlessly navigate the underwater landscape while being carried by the gentle currents, providing a seamless and captivating journey through the thriving coral reefs. For underwater photographers and filmmakers, the advantages of drift diving in Cozumel are intertwined with the challenges it presents. While the currents contribute to dynamic underwater scenes, captivating the perfect shot or stabilizing a camera amidst the movement becomes a skillful endeavor. Despite these challenges, the rewards of documenting the flourishing marine life in its natural, vibrant state make drift diving in Cozumel a must for those seeking an unparalleled underwater adventure. The current is mild when you dive deeper and almost absent when you swim along the coral formations, along the canyons or in the tunnels. For beginners, we suggest you stay close to the dive guide. Keep an eye on your guide all the time. The water is so clear. While you stare at the beautiful scenery, the corals and the fish, and while you won't be swimming much, you may be sinking slowly without noticing it. The guide will serve as your depth reference, assuming you let them know you are a beginner. Most dive operations in Cozumel do a good job keeping everyone safe. The guides, instructors, and dive master we dive with are excellent. Maintaining proper buoyancy is not only essential for avoiding collisions with the coral when being carried by the current, but also for navigating through the canyons without stirring up sediment along the way. No one wishes to be the diver who disrupts the experience for others, creating a cloud of sand while moving through tunnels, obstructing the view for fellow divers. Now let's look at the captivating world of the diverse fish species we've encountered during our dives. Our aquatic journey begins with the awe-inspiring sharks that gracefully navigate these waters. Among the remarkable sightings, we meet a baby reef shark with its distinct markings, transitioning from a coral formation to a sandy area. This juvenile shark, moving with a certain curiosity, seems to embody the resilience and vitality of the ocean's apex predators. While some nurse sharks are dynamic hunters, swimming purposefully in search of prey like the one we observe here, others adopt a more leisurely approach. The ocean floor becomes their hunting ground, and with a distinctive suction force created by their mouths, they can efficiently vacuum up small fish crustaceans, and mollusks hidden within the sandy substrate. Their prowl, slow and deliberate, showcases an evolved hunting technique adapted to the subtleties of the ocean floor. Something unique about the nurse shark is that females can give birth to up to 40 live young, and it is also sometimes known as a cat or cat shark because the bumps on its snout look like a cat's whiskers. Unlike many fish that require constant movement for oxygenation, nurse sharks have the ability to respire efficiently while stationary. It is not uncommon to find them tucked into secluded spaces, their bodies seemingly at ease, and their breathing rhythmic. The tranquility of nurse sharks during their rest periods is a testament to their adaptability and the importance of conserving energy in their daily lives. These underwater napping spots 
not only provide them with shelter, but also allow us, as observers, a rare glimpse into the more subdued moments of these enigmatic marine inhabitants. The guide's prediction of encountering a moray eel in this dive came true as we spotted a magnificent specimen gracefully navigating the terrain. Despite its serpentine appearance, the green moray eel is a mesmerizing and often misunderstood denizen of the deep. Due to the abundant marine life and coral reefs, the clear and warm Caribbean water, Cozumel is considered one of the best scuba diving destinations in the world. According to figures from Mexico's National Commission for Protected Natural Areas, Cozumel waters are currently home to 105 different types of coral and 262 species of fish. The richness of marine life in this underwater haven is a captivating symphony of colors, shapes, and behaviors that unfolds with every dive. The spotted file fish, with its distinctive body shape and intricate markings, becomes a living work of art against the backdrop of the coral reef. It's spotted in molted pattern, ranging from earthy browns to vibrant oranges and yellows, serves as both camouflage and a display of natural beauty, blending seamlessly with the surrounding coral. As we explore the coral formations, the presence of a spiny lobster becomes a familiar, yet always enchanting aspect of the Cozumel underwater experience. What sets this encounter apart is the lobster's seemingly heightened curiosity. Unlike their usual elusive behavior, this particular lobster appears more inquisitive than usual.
a unique and captivating spectacle unfolds before us as we chance upon a porcupine fish couple engaging in a courtship dance. Undeterred by our presence, the male porcupine fish ardently pursues the female in a graceful underwater waltz. The courtship dance is marked by synchronized movements, where the male showcases its affection through intricate maneuvers, circling around the female with a persistent charm. After observing this enchanting dance for a while, we make the conscious decision to leave the porcupine fish to their courtship ritual, allowing nature to unfold without our interference. Slowly, we continue with our dive, leaving behind the aquatic couple engaging in their dance. A reminder that the underwater world is filled not only with vibrant marine life, but also with the captivating stories of courtship and connection that play out in the depths below. In the lively underwater world of Cozumel, the barrel sponge craters emerge as crucial sanctuaries for a variety of fish seeking refuge from the relentless currents and potential predators. These unique formations, resembling natural craters within the barrel sponges, become havens that play a vital role in the intricate tapestry of marine life. In the heart of our dive, an awe-inspiring encounter unfolds, destined to become the highlight for each of us. A majestic hawksbill sea turtle, decorated with intricate patterns on its shell, graces our underwater journey and captures our collective fascination. This remarkable sea turtle has found its haven behind a modest coral wall, where it indulges in the age-old ritual of munching on sponges, seemingly unperturbed by our presence. The turtle goes about its business, 
with a calm and unhurried demeanor. Although it's common to see them in Cozumel, it is never a 100% certainty that you will get to see a turtle, so each time you have an encounter, it is special. This awesome creature will generally be found at the reef grabbing something to eat, while other fish help clean its shell. As the turtle methodically scouts for more delectable sponges, small resident fish emerge from their hiding places, bravely venturing out to poke and prod in an attempt to dissuade the visitor from their territory. Undeterred, the hawk's bill's thick skin acts as an armor, allowing it to continue its feast with an air of indifference to the valiant attempts of the smaller fish. Just when we think the encounter couldn't get more enchanting, a pair of angelfish enters the scene. Intrigued by the suspended debris from the sponges that the turtle was chewing, the angelfish gracefully dance around the floating particles, adding a touch of elegance to the underwater symphony. This happy surprise rendezvous with the hawkbill sea turtle, with its graceful indulgence and the ensuing underwater theater becomes an unforgettable moment that etches itself into the collective memory of our dive. Cozumel's turtles are considered endangered species. Much like the rest of the reef, divers must be extremely respectful and careful. Divers are requested not to touch or try to feed these beautiful animals. This carnivorous turtle has a highly variable diet, consisting mostly of invertebrates, such as sponges, jellyfish, crustaceans, sea urchins, and mollusks. In captivity, adults reach sexual maturity between three and five years of age. Although wild turtles may take much longer to reach maturity, they can live as long as 30 to 50 years. Adults mate off the nesting beaches every two to three years during the nesting period, generally April through November. Beaches are natural nesting sites for the green sea turtles and the loggerhead sea turtles in Cozumel and beyond. The big corals, often centuries old, are silent witnesses to the ebb and flow of the ocean's tides. Their colossal presence provides shelter and sustenance for a myriad of marine life, forming vibrant ecosystems that contribute to the biodiversity of the reef. As we approach these underwater giants, the sheer scale and intricacy of their formations become apparent, revealing a world of textures, colors, and marine inhabitants. Encountering these big corals in Cozumel is a humbling experience, a reminder of the delicate balance that exists in the ocean's depths. The resilience of these ancient structures, coupled with the teeming life that surrounds them, is a testament to the interconnectedness of the marine world, a world where the big corals reign as silent giants, guardians of the underwater realm. Scuba diving is still one of Cozumel's primary attractions, mainly due to the coral reef on the western shore of Cozumel. These coral reefs are protected from the open ocean by the island's natural geography. In 1996, the government of Mexico also established the Cozumel Reefs National Marine Park, forbidding anyone from touching or removing any marine life within the park boundaries. Despite the importance of healthy reefs to Cozumel's tourist trade, a deep water pier was built in the 1990s for cruise ships to dock, causing damage to the reefs, and is now a regular stop on cruises in the Caribbean. Over the past few decades, coral reef health has significantly declined in Cozumel, with much lower coral cover now present than was historically recorded. The underwater visibility, which can be as much as 250 feet, 
allows us to view a dynamic and diverse array of colorful coral reef fish and sponges that amaze even the most experienced world-class divers. The best place to see these amazing denizens of the deep is at 35 feet. This is where sunlight penetrates the water at its most ideal depth and affords coral reef and fish their most ideal conditions to flourish. 46 square miles of the reefs in Cozumel are protected by the Arrecifes de Cozumel National Park, which is making a great effort to keep reefs' biodiversity as intact as possible by forbidding any illegal fishing or harvesting in the area. In a proactive effort to preserve and protect the delicate marine ecosystems, Cozumel takes a thoughtful approach by periodically closing certain portions of the reef for a designated span of time, allowing for crucial recovery and regeneration. This strategic conservation measure is a testament to the commitment of the local authorities to maintain the health and sustainability of the underwater environment. To give you a little background, by the close of 2018, a significant decline had afflicted Cozumel's coral reefs. The hard corals fell victim to two destructive diseases, stony coral tissue loss and white band disease. The latter earned its name from the distinct white bands of deceased coral tissue it generates. It's crucial to note that neither of these diseases should be mistaken for coral bleaching, an entirely separate phenomenon. The suspected bacterial infections swiftly propagated, resulting in a rapid demise of numerous species of hard corals. According to Healthy Reefs, an organization monitoring the well-being of the Mesoamerican barrier reef system, the impact of the disease is deemed unprecedented. Mortality rates are alarmingly high, affecting approximately 30 different types of hard corals, including brain corals, pillar corals, flower corals, and star corals, among others. Let's look at how the reef closure rotation works. On this reef guide page, there's a list of the dive sites on the left side. And on the right side, we can see the closure months for the corresponding reef. We see that mainly sites from the southern part of the island are closed for two months. During these temporary reef closures, specific sections of the reef are off limits to divers and snorkelers. This intentional break from human activity provides marine life with a respite from the potential impacts of tourism allowing the ecosystems to recover, rejuvenate, and thrive. The closure acts as a form of marine rest, fostering a healthier and more resilient reef system. While the closed-off areas may inconvenience some eager explorers, the long-term benefits are invaluable. The break from human interaction enables coral reefs to rebuild, marine life to flourish, and ecosystems to regain their natural balance. This conservation-minded approach aims to ensure that future generations can continue to enjoy the vibrant beauty of Cozumel's underwater world. The good news for divers coming to Cozumel while the closure is in effect is that there are many excellent dive sites for divers to visit outside of the closed areas, and they are the ones richest in marine life. The sites that remain open offer excellent opportunities to observe beautiful fish, sea turtles, invertebrates, colorful sponges, and healthy corals for which Cozumel is known. Opting to follow a guide while diving in Cozumel is the key to unlocking a truly enjoyable and immersive underwater experience. Guides possess an intricate knowledge of the dive sites, ensuring that you get to explore the coolest and most captivating locations along the reef. Their familiarity with the underwater terrain allows you to make the most of your bottom time, maximizing your chances of enjoying the best swim throughs the greatest tunnels, and encountering the diverse marine life that Cozumel has to offer.
Beyond showcasing the beauty of the underwater world, guides play a crucial role in prioritizing safety. They are well versed in navigating the currents, understanding the unique challenges each dive site presents, and are equipped to keep divers within their limits. The end of today's dives, though tinged with a hint of sadness, is also a celebration of the wonders witnessed and the privilege of being immersed in the beauty of Cozumel's marine world. It serves as a reminder that, like all good things, the dive may come to an end, but the memories of the underwater splendor will endure. As the sun gracefully descends, Cozumel's golden horizon becomes a beacon, drawing a diverse crowd to its shores. Families savor the last moments of daylight, relishing the warmth of the beach, while newly married couples gather beneath the coconut trees, capturing the magic of their honeymoon against the backdrop of the setting sun. Sailboats, moored along the coastline, sway gently in the evening breeze and other boats glide across the waters. The tranquil scene unfolds as the sun bids its daily farewell. For divers, the sunset marks the prelude to another adventure. Nightfall transforms Cozumel's underwater world into a mysterious and exhilarating realm. Before the night dive begins, the journey on a boat guided by the moon and stars, becomes a delightful experience in itself. Once submerged, the darkness is illuminated by our dive lights revealing the mesmerizing color dance of the corals at night. Several marine creatures make their nocturnal appearances. The reef comes alive with vibrant colors and heightened activity. Contrary to the subdued palette of the daylight, the night reveals a lively and active marine world. Navigating the reef at night, we peer under coral walls and venture into large tunnels, illuminating the darkness with our dive lights. Soft corals, sponges, and other marine flora become more pronounced, showcasing their intricate details and vibrant shades that often remain hidden during the day. The real spectacle, however, 
unfolds as the nocturnal residents of the reef emerge from their shelters. Fish that were once concealed in crevices and ledges venture out into the open, creating a dynamic and lively underwater scene. The night becomes a feeding frenzy, with predators and prey engaging in a captivating dance amidst the coral formations. The beams of light expose a hidden realm, and to our delight, lobsters and crabs become the stars of this nighttime spectacle. Their intricate carapaces, often adorned with hues that blend seamlessly with the reef, are now spotlighted, revealing the unique characteristics of each individual. Crabs, with their sideways scuttling motion, navigate the reef with purpose, their claws at the ready for a quick catch. Among the fascinating creatures that emerge from the shadows is the elusive Cozumel spider crab. With its intricate patterns and long, spindly legs, it ventures out from its daytime hiding spots to roam the reef in search of food. Lobsters with their impressive antenna and spiny exoskeletons move gracefully over the rocky terrain. Their nighttime ventures involve scavenging for prey and seeking out hidden morsels among the coral formations. The dive lights gracefully illuminate the conch shells on the floor. What was once thought to be an inert part of the reef now showcases subtle movements as the conch shells come alive in the nocturnal dance of the underwater world. This time around, the beam points to a Caribbean octopus gracefully moving from a hole to another, hunting for food. Spotting the porcupine fish alone in the quiet darkness adds an intriguing layer to its story. As a group who have been diving together during the day, we can't help but marvel at the possibility that this porcupine fish might be the very one we witnessed earlier. A witness to the intricate underwater ballet between potential mates. It may very well be the same porcupine fish observed earlier in the day, engaged in a courtship dance with a persistent male. This little spotted moray eel, with its intricate patterns and keen eyes, cautiously navigates the reef. The eel hunts for small fish and crustaceans, relying on its keen sense of smell and agile movements. As the grand finale of our night dive in Cozumel, encountering a sea turtle becomes the crowning moment a serene punctuation to the underwater symphony we've been privileged to witness. The sea turtle, with its ancient grace, finds a sheltered spot among the coral formations. The gentle illumination from the dive lights unveils the intricate patterns on its shell. When the turtle decides to continue its nocturnal exploration, its elegant swim effortlessly cuts through the water, showcasing a natural ballet of movement regardless of the underwater currents. The powerful strokes of its flippers propel it forward with an undeniable grace, 
a testament to the sea turtle's innate ability to navigate the depths with poise and purpose. The encounter leaves an indelible mark, offering a glimpse into the nighttime habits of this ancient mariner. The turtle, gracefully gliding through the night waters, marks the conclusion of our mesmerizing journey beneath the waves. As a group, we ascend towards the surface, leaving behind the hidden wonders of the deep, the memory of the sea turtle's elegant swim, and the ethereal ambiance of the night dive lingers, creating a sense of wonder and gratitude. Cozumel has a long history as a destination for tourists, with the island being visited for its diving and snorkeling opportunities. Heading south along the western side of Cozumel, the surroundings transform into a dense thicket of trees, creating an immersive jungle-like experience. The untouched beauty of the eastern beaches stands as a testament to the resilience of nature. Along the eastern shore, a surfing school emerges as a vibrant hub, attracting those who seek both the thrill of the waves and the tranquility of the beach. This gathering spot not only serves as a haven for surf enthusiasts, but also as a communal space for people to swim socialize, and relish the untouched beauty of the eastern coastline. Since Hurricane Gilbert wiped out the electricity on this side of the island back in 1988, they've never rebuilt. As a result, the eastern side of the island is wild and nearly deserted. The crashing waves and untouched sands create a serene and secluded atmosphere, offering a stark contrast to the bustling energy found on the western side of the island. Continuing our drive around the island, we traverse past quaint souvenir shops and inviting restaurants, signaling a transition from the serene landscapes of the eastern coast to a more modern infrastructure. The road now reveals well-defined sidewalks and bustling repair shops, and the traffic gradually intensifies indicating our proximity to the western side of Cozumel. As we approach the western shores, the landscape becomes adorned with more sizable buildings and commercial establishments begin to populate the surroundings with increasing frequency. The once laid back ambiance now yields to a more dynamic and vibrant energy, 
characteristic of the Western side's development and commercial activity. With millions of American tourists each year, there is a definite American influence on the island. You'll notice a number of restaurants that are common in the U.S. English is widely spoken by just about anyone on the tourism industry. Meanwhile, U.S. dollars are also widely accepted, as are credit cards. But it's helpful to carry cash. Although Cozumel is Mexico's largest Caribbean island and its most populated, it wasn't until the 1960s that this one sleepy fishing village became a tourist attraction in its own right. Following a documentary in which Jacques Cousteau declared it one of the most beautiful areas in the world for scuba diving. Cozumel has long been considered one of the world's most popular cruise ports and a favorite destination for cruise passengers from around the world. As of the end of 2022, Cozumel has welcomed around 1,000 cruise ships. At any given day, there are up to eight cruise ships in town. Altogether, local authorities believe that more than 3 million cruise passengers visit per year. The international tourists visiting Cozumel via cruise ships are largely coming from the United States, Germany, Bahamas, Panama, and other European countries. Because of Cozumel's excellent service, port facilities, and infrastructure, the island experiences a continuous flow of tourism. The economic pulse of this region beats in rhythm with the arrival of passengers as they contribute significantly to the local businesses, from shops and restaurants to various tourist attractions. The western side, with its bustling streets and commercial establishments, thrives on the tourism industry that has become a cornerstone of its identity. As the island flourishes with the economic benefits brought by tourism, a careful balance must be struck to address the environmental impact of hosting cruise ships. Cozumel faces the challenge of sustaining its economic prosperity while preserving the natural wonders that make the island a sought-after destination. In February 2022, a federal judge granted an injunction in favor of environmental activists in Cozumel blocking the construction of a fourth cruise ship pier. The dilemma underscores the need for responsible and sustainable practices within the tourism industry to ensure that the vibrant west side of Cozumel continues to thrive without compromising the ecological integrity that makes the island an exceptional place to visit. As our scenic drive around Cozumel reaches its end on the western side, we decide to take a break and refuel at a charming restaurant nestled by the beach. The atmosphere is cozy and inviting, with the soothing sound of waves providing a backdrop to our dining experience. As we settle into our seats, we are delighted to witness a mariachi band leaving the restaurant, their vibrant melodies hinting at the cultural richness awaiting us. The joyous atmosphere is captured in photographs with newfound friends, creating lasting memories of our island adventure. As the evening unfolds, we are treated to a delightful cultural showcase featuring local dance, 
Mayan performances and music. The rhythmic beats and the colorful expressions transport us into the heart of Cozumel's cultural tapestry. Our next adventure unfolds on the opposite side of the island, and the journey to this unique experience involves a scenic ferry ride. Cozumel's primary mode of transportation to and from the mainland is facilitated by two reliable ferry companies, ensuring a consistent hourly schedule for travelers, anticipating the thrill of diving in the cenotes. We board the ferry with excitement, crossing the turquoise waters to Playa del Carmen. Upon reaching the mainland, our Pro Dive International Guide awaits our arrival, ready to guide us through the enchanting world of cenote diving. We embark on a short drive to gather our dive equipment and tanks, meeting with fellow divers who join us from various locations. The camaraderie among our group grows as we prepare for the adventure ahead. In ancient times, the Yucatan Peninsula thrived as a vibrant coral reef. The ebb and flow of the Ice Age saw ocean levels recede, causing the corals to perish. Subsequently, the former reef became shrouded in jungle, and the continual rainfall gradually sculpted the porous coral limestone. With the passing of the Ice Age, the terrain evolved into a labyrinth of caves, akin to Swiss cheese. As water levels ascended once more, these subterranean caverns became submerged, giving rise to the distinctive geological landscape that characterizes the region today. The Yucatan is home to some of the world's longest underground cave systems. You can find cenotes all over the world, but the Yucatan Peninsula, and especially the Riviera Maya, are completely unique due to the sheer number of cenotes. You will not find this quantity anywhere else in the world. Today, we are diving Chiquin Ha, which means water from the east in the Mayan language. Many of the Mayan cities were constructed around cenotes as they provided a fresh water source for the community. Moreover, these unique wells were considered a sacred passageway to the Mayan underworld. Many human sacrifices were offered to the gods, believed to reside within the dark depths of these geological phenomena. We arrive on site. A few locals help us find a spot to park. The place is equipped with tables for divers to set up their gear. The Mexican Caribbean, in addition to having the second barrier reef, is also one of the special places where you will find an endless number of incredible cenotes, making Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum one of the most visited destinations to practice diving in caverns. The guide informs us about the tradition of visiting the cenote to pay our respects before embarking on the dive. We walk down the trail and then the stairs to take our initial look at the entrance and gauge the distance we'll be walking down and back up with our gear.
In contrast to the lively world above, the cenotes offer a tranquil retreat into a timeless realm where external clamor dissipates, replaced by soft ripples of water and the soothing sound of our own breath. And also you need to have natural light for carbon. So in the moment that you don't see natural light from the sun, you are in the cave. This meditative encounter invites us to embrace solitude, fostering a serene calm that, that revitalizes our spirits. We begin putting together our gear, surrounded by the sounds of the jungle. A thorough briefing by our highly advanced cave diving instructor is mandatory before venturing into the cenote. This is not your simple open water shallow dive. The briefing took about an hour. They do a lot of um, teaching okay, about the area, the local culture, and things like that. Let us go over why this is important to know for people who wish to dive in the cenotes for the first time. A cavern is different to a cave in that it will have ambient light available and is close to open water. This ensures it is easy to swim out and get to the surface in an emergency. A cave is usually considered a cave when it has no sign of natural light. It has narrow passages and it is deeper than 60 feet or it's over 200 feet from the entrance. Cave diving is highly technical and absolutely requires special training in planning and risk management. Certified and experienced cave divers will find many exciting options at the cenotes to have a good exploration through the deep caves and extensive tunnel systems. Some dive centers in the Yucatan Peninsula offer divers the chance to explore caverns within the cenotes without having to go fully inside a cave. Training level depends on the cenote and the dive center, but an advanced open water diver certification is adequate for many, although you might need to prove a minimum number of log dives too. Although this season, all our previous dives in the ocean didn't need a wetsuit, many divers here will use a dry suit or a 5 mil suit. The water temperature in the cenotes is around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We gather around the stairs at the entrance and initiate our dive. The usual dive package at Chikin Ha Cenote consists of two dives. On our first dive, we'll follow the first path on the left side of the entrance, or for advanced audiences, the west side of the cavern. It's usually a 40-minute dive. After our surface interval, we'll come back and dive the right side. The guide signals and we commence our descent. With our torches, we move closer unveiling the dark mystery of this cavern for the very first time.
in the darkness, a strange feeling washes over us. Not fear, but a deep sense of awe. The cavern's vastness goes beyond what we expected, and it feels like we're discovering something beyond our knowledge. We can't help but feel proud and honored to be here, exploring this place, shining a light on its darkness, even if just for a moment. Chiquinha is one of the most beautiful open cenotes thanks to its shallow depth. The light makes everything crystal clear, including the hundreds of colorful fish and the emerald green of the algae. Beyond the pristine clarity of the water, this environment boasts walls, tunnels, vaults, and formations reminiscent of an otherworldly landscape. It's as if the extended finger of an ancient goddess once shaped this space The Maya believed that the cenotes were a sacred pathway to the gods. We know they even sacrificed humans in some, as bones had been found. approach the opening of the cenote, a mesmerizing sight unfolds beneath us. The dance of lights playing on the rocks signals our proximity to the surface. Gradually ascending, we emerge to witness the hidden beauty of this jungle underground world. There seems to be a ceaseless quest for water in the jungle. The roots of numerous plants weave through the rock, reaching and stretching towards the water's surface. This enchanting spectacle unravels in the rainbow cenote, where nature's resilience and the interplay of light and shadow create a captivating underwater world, seamlessly integrated with the lush jungle above. We take a break to enjoy this magical scenery, then head back under to continue the dive. Our guide, mindful of the intricate network of caves, pauses strategically to highlight markers, indicating access to adjacent caverns. His light signals guide us to the entrance of these caves, adding an element of discovery to our underwater journey. Diving into the cenotes caverns is an exhilarating experience, each space unveiling a unique charm. 
It feels like navigating through an immense palace, moving seamlessly from one room to another. Every chamber possesses its distinctive style, architecture, and interior design. Some areas boast towering ceilings with awe-inspiring walls, while others present narrow passages, requiring us to swim through to reach the next room. Amidst this abrupt shift in salinity, known as the halocline, where sweet and salty waters merge, a phenomenon our guide prepped us about unfolds before our eyes. While the briefing offered insight, experiencing it firsthand surpasses any verbal description. As the camera loses focus and a mist envelops everything, divers in front of us seem to vanish and the world becomes a series of fleeting flashes. As we swim through the narrow passages, the guide's briefing emphasis on maintaining neutral buoyancy becomes evident. To vividly illustrate the importance of this, he gathers sediment from the bottom and releases it into the water in front of us. Instantly, the water clouds up, becoming opaque. The resulting cloud reflects the light we direct towards it, obscuring everything behind it. This demonstration vividly illustrates the risk of any diver disturbing sediment on the cave floor, potentially making navigation nearly impossible. The caverns with their enchanting diversity and the guide's insightful demonstrations offer both the thrill of exploration and a heightened awareness of the delicate underwater environment.
On this side of the cenote, the rays of light indicate that we've arrived to our exit. We ascend and thank this place for the gift that it has offered us. As our dive and overall trip to Cozumel come to an end, a tinge of sadness accompanies the farewell to this enchanting place. The journey has been a rich tapestry of new experiences, revealing the diverse wonders both on the island and within the cenotes. The ProDive International Center and its dedicated staff have played a pivotal role, ensuring our stay was exceptional and assisting us in making the most of our exploration. Leaving Cozumel evokes mixed emotions, a blend of appreciation for the incredible moments we've encountered and a yearning to return. The memories we've crafted here, from the vibrant coral reefs to the mystical caverns, are etched in our minds. This destination has left an indelible mark and we are certain that Cozumel will beckon us once again in the future. Until then, we bid farewell to this wonderful place with gratitude for the experiences and anticipation for the adventures that await in the next chapter of our travels. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates about future dive trips and dive sites we will visit.